Doc, as far as the team, the way you guys played today, it was tremendous performance. Talk about in the equation of what you would, would say is you're there. How close are you as far as the performance oh, today? There. I mean, no team's there. Right. Uh, like there's not a team in the NBA that will tell you they're there right now. Uh, if they are, then then we know what we have to catch if they're ahead of us. You know what I mean? So uh, we're just getting better. I think uh, the one thing we're starting to do, you know, I don't more consistently is the ball movement, the quick decisions, the playing downhill, um, and that makes us really good. Um, when you have passers like CP and Blake, um, it makes it very hard for you, anyone to guard you, and I think that's what we're doing more. You've been using a lot of different combinations for the second unit to try to mm -hmm. kind of figure it out. Do you think you're finding better ones now? I mean, are you kind of getting a better understanding? Yeah, I don't know if I am. I, I think... Um, I mean, I'm guessing, but I think what we're doing is we're starting to find a few sets offensively that they can run and, and keeps them space with movement. Uh, and defensively, we still are under, under construction. Yeah, what does this tell you about the team? Is this a signature win? No, I guess for you guys and everybody else, and I guess for Coach Reddick. But, uh, <laughs> no, I mean, I just expect to win. And when we win, it's great. When we don't win, I'm not very happy. Um, Sometimes we win, I think we can play better. Sometimes we lose and we play well. Uh, at the end of the day, it's about growth. I think we're growing, and that's all you can do right now. How are you uh, able to fluster Rondo so much? Or... If I did fluster Rondo, he just didn't make shots tonight. Uh, you know, they missed some shots tonight, too. Uh, and Spencer would be, uh, oh, yeah, I knew that all the time. I knew he was a great shot blocker. And, uh, and since he's been back, and we talked about it, he has been playing really well just, uh, on the defense of him. Yeah. Um, and he thanked me after the game. A uh, lifetime dream for him was to play the three spot just once. And he got to do that at the last minute of the game. So Spencer's in heaven right there. <laughs> Doc, uh, I don't know if it's gone official or not, but your son has been in Boston. Yeah. It seems like, uh, I don't know, kind of what's your thought of the thoughts on that? It's kind of, yeah. Well, I don't know if it's official or not. Um, you know, I guess I shouldn't have sold my condo. <laughs> <laughs> Plays when we have to plan a transition. Is, is that something you've noticed that you're calling less sets on the court? Yeah, yeah, no question. I think it's because we're defending a little bit better. But we just we're pushing it. You know, even if the other team scores, we're, we're pushing the tempo. It's a good win for us. Uh, that's a really good team over there that, that we beat today. They've been playing really well. And uh, I think it just shows us what we're capable of. Chris, what did you like about with you and, and uh, the guys from the Insta Rondo? Uh, we just tried to, you know, not give him anything easy. You know, he's such a great distributor and finding guys, and then he can get into the lane and he got a lot of tough finishes. But uh, the bigs really helped us tonight. Spencer came over and tested, so did DJ. Same with Sam uh, with, uh, with Dirk. What did you do to contain Dirk? Uh, we try not to get off his body as much as possible. I think DJ and um, even Matt and Blake did a great job. And Dirk's one of those guys you really can't defend one-on-one. -on -one. It takes a team, and so we were all over helping as much as possible. She still has like, 25. <laughs> Can you talk about the key keys to how you guys performed so outstanding today? Uh, I think it was our defense. Um, the game was close early. Um, but in the third quarter, I feel like we got a lot of consecutive stops and we were able to convert those. Yeah, Andre, uh, two questions. Uh, first of all, are you trying to join uh, Blake and Chris on the cover GQ with that? And, uh... With this? <laughs> yeah. Absolutely not, man. I just uh, <laughs> I just do this for my own, you know, my own life. You know um, I, mean? no, I was just looking at him. <laughs> <laughs> then the addition, having fun, um, playing with defensive intensity and pace. It kind of feels watching you that that's the case. What, how do you guys feel about it? Um, yeah, I mean, I thought the last two games we played with a much better pace, better energy, um, and execute the things that we've worked on and the things we want to, we want to execute on. Um, but we've, we've done that in stretches. We, we had the, our little streak early in the, in the season. We, we did that. Um, we just have to do it consistently. I mean, uh, as far as confidence, helps our confidence. Uh, every team, every player, no matter what you, you say, you know, Confidence is not always sky high. But, um, it helps to see you know the things that you've worked on actually come uh, come to life and, and, um, and work in the, in the course of the game. So yeah, it definitely helps. This isn't all for nothing. Uh,
side. <laughs> Like, the game was close in the beginning of the game. How are you able to sort of throw them off their game? Because they're a very good team as well. I thought we were good defensively. You know, deflections, um, and somewhat limited offensive rebounds. And, you know, especially in the first half, or right, right after the halftime, mm -hmm. we came out, we just attacked, we took advantage of those some of the shots from them, got on the floor, got some easy ones, got some open shots, moved the ball, and it was just the way we did everything. Not, not relaxing too much on defense. You know, I think that's the, the biggest thing. And, and also not searching too much on offense. I think sometimes when you have a lead, you kind of relax. And, you know, you're not, not staying on those defensive uh, principles. And then on the, on the other end, everybody's kind of freestyling. And um, tonight, you know, I think you saw we kept moving the ball no matter what. Possession um, <coughs> the ball was swinging from both sides of the floor and we were up 20. And that's, that's the way you have to play. To, to maintain those spaces and build upon. Do you feel a certain clarity entering the game? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I just, I just believe that you know, when you prepare for a game, you just, it just kind of clears your head, it clears any doubts, it gives you confidence if you have been struggling. I mean, 